Before we start our lesson today, I want to tell you something. I looked at the video analysis, the majority of those who watch my videos are not subscribers, subscribing to my channel is free, please do not forget to support my channel by subscribing to my channel and turning on notifications. Let's start our lesson now. What is geomorphology? Geomorphology is a fascinating and complex field that seeks to understand the physical features of the Earth's surface, how they were formed, and how they continue to change over time. This field combines elements of geology, geography, physics, chemistry, and biology to investigate the complex interactions between the Earth's various systems that shape the landscape. Geomorphologists study a wide range of landforms, including mountains, valleys, plateaus, rivers, lakes, glaciers, deserts, and coastlines. By examining the shape, composition, and arrangement of these landforms, they can gain insight into the processes that form them and the forces that continue to shape them. For example, geomorphologists might analyze the sediment deposits in a river delta to understand the patterns of erosion and deposition that occur in the river basin, or study the composition of rocks in a mountain range to learn about the tectonic activity that created it. One of the central goals of geomorphology is to understand the processes that drive landscape change over time. This can include natural processes, such as erosion, weathering, and sedimentation, as well as human activities like deforestation, mining, and land development. By understanding these processes and their interactions, geomorphologists can develop models to predict how landscapes will change in the future, and develop strategies to manage and mitigate the effects of these changes. Geomorphology has many practical applications in fields such as environmental management, hazard assessment, and natural resource management. For example, geomorphologists might work with engineers to design structures such as dams and levees that can withstand the forces of erosion and flooding, or collaborate with urban planners to design cities that are resilient to natural disasters like earthquakes and landslides. Overall, geomorphology is a vital field of study that helps us understand the dynamic processes that shape the Earth's surface. With its interdisciplinary approach and practical applications, it has the potential to help us manage our natural resources, protect our environment, and plan for a sustainable future. What are the sub-branches of geomorphology? Geomorphology is a broad field that encompasses many sub-disciplines, each of which focuses on a specific aspect of the Earth's surface processes. Some of the sub-branches of geomorphology are Fluvial geomorphology this branch of geomorphology focuses on the study of rivers and their processes, including erosion, sedimentation, and channel morphology. Coastal geomorphology This branch of geomorphology deals with the study of coastal processes, including wave action, erosion, sediment transport, and shoreline change. Glacial geomorphology This subdiscipline studies the processes that shape glacial landscapes, including the movement of ice, erosion, deposition, and the formation of glacial landforms. Tectonic geomorphology, this field focuses on the interactions between tectonic processes and landforms, including the formation of mountains, rift valleys, and other tectonic landforms. Karst geomorphology, this branch of geomorphology focuses on the study of landscapes formed by the dissolution of soluble rocks such as limestone, including the formation of caves, sinkholes, and underground rivers. Aeolian geomorphology, this field studies the processes and landforms associated with wind erosion and deposition, including sand dunes, lust deposits, and desert landscapes. Hillslope geomorphology, this subdiscipline deals with the study of the processes and landforms associated with hillslopes, including erosion, weathering, mass wasting, and soil formation. Geomorphometry, this field is concerned with the quantitative analysis of topographic data, including the measurement and analysis of landform shape, slope, aspect, and curvature. Each of these subdisciplines is important for understanding different aspects of the Earth's surface processes, 
and together they provide a comprehensive understanding of how the landscape is shaped and changed over time. What are the differences between geomorphology and geology? Geomorphology and geology are related fields of study that share some similarities but also have some key differences. Geology is the study of the Earth's structure, composition, and history, including the study of rocks, minerals, fossils, and the processes that shape the Earth's surface and interior. Geologists use various methods to analyze rocks and sediments, including field observations, laboratory analyses, and numerical modeling, in order to understand the geological history of the Earth and how it has evolved over time. Geomorphology, on the other hand, is the study of the Earth's surface processes and landforms, including the study of mountains, rivers, coastlines, and other physical features. Geomorphologists study the processes that shape the Earth's surface, such as erosion, weathering, and tectonic activity, and use a variety of methods to analyze landforms, including field observations, remote sensing, and numerical modeling. While geology and geomorphology share some common methods and goals, there are some key differences between the two fields. Geology is a broader field that encompasses the study of both the Earth's surface and interior, while geomorphology focuses specifically on the surface processes and landforms. Geologists may be more concerned with the geological history of a region and the composition of rocks and minerals, while geomorphologists may be more focused on the present-day processes that shape the landscape. In addition, geology often involves longer timescales and deeper geological processes, while geomorphology focuses more on surface processes and shorter timescales. Geologists may study processes such as plate tectonics and mountain building, which occur over millions of years, while geomorphologists are more concerned with processes such as erosion and sedimentation, which can occur over much shorter timescales. Overall, while geology and geomorphology share some similarities, they are distinct fields of study with their own methods, goals, and areas of focus. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications.